The pandemic hit a lot of people hard, perhaps none harder than our senior citizens, those more than 60 years old. Pre-COVID, that meant nearly 400,000 Idahoans, and of those, nearly 90,000 of them live alone, all by themselves. About half of those, well, they struggle to pay for basic living expenses. Meals on Wheels is a national nonprofit which provides meals to seniors who are otherwise stuck in their homes and can't get out to get food for themselves. Well, the demand for that service has increased. And at one point during the COVID pandemic, it more than doubled, you know, with social distancing and all. And that, of course, led to drawbacks. The agency that distributes the federal funds to local programs, they announced Southwest Idaho can no longer afford to pay for weekend meals. And it's going to stay that way for a while. Here's Andrew Barline. Help from a hospital extends out the door from the West Valley Medical Center, 26. where volunteers pack up the coolers with the meals they bought. They haven't raised prices for our meals in a number of years, even though I know their cost for food has gotten to be much higher. And they hit the road in the wheels they brought. This delivery comes daily to Pat Peterson. This is a godsend, it really is. She's 82 now and has relied on Meals on Wheels for the better part of a decade. I don't drive anymore. I have, uh, this side of my body doesn't like to cooperate a lot and I don't trust myself going from the gas pedal to the, uh, the brake. So it's been difficult. Pat's homebound, so she relies on Meals on Wheels to navigate the gas pedal for her seven days a week. I count on it. That's my main meal. For 120 others in Caldwell, it's their main meal too. There are folks that have been on my route for longer than I've been doing this, and I've been doing it for 13 years. Um, and so we, we really do re develop relationships with them. Julie Warwick is the program coordinator. For the people on her route, she feels responsible, which makes the latest news hard to swallow because the organization is hitting the brakes. They told us around the, the 1st of September or so that they were going to have to revamp the program and would no longer be providing funding for weekend meals for people. Area 3 Senior Service Agency allocates funding for Meals on Wheels programs in southwest Idaho. As demand increases, budget decisions have to be made. I feel terrible. I feel terrible that um, you know that, that we know there are seniors out there that are struggling and um, we're making them fend for themselves or have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on Saturday and Sunday. That's not right. They need a hot and nutritious meal. So Julie promised just that. She stepped back on the gas pedal. I knew that would be a real problem for a lot of our folks. Caldwell Meals on Wheels has local funds they control. Warwick is using that rainy day fund to bridge the gap until the next fiscal year on July 1st. But covering weekends for the next seven months won't be cheap. That's going to cost us to do that $22,000. It's not sustainable for us to go past there, you know, on, on July 1. If they don't go back to funding for seven days a week, my folks are going to be down to five days a week as well. But for Pat, she says there's no other way. She needs those weekend meals. She needs someone stepping on the gas. I'd be up a crick. I really would. The Area 3 Senior Services Agency gets their funding from the federal government, and that funding has not been cut or reduced. It's just as demand rises, they can't continue to afford all the services they did before for an increasing number of people. If Caldwell didn't dip into their savings, Warwick estimates roughly 80 people would not be fed on weekends, which is a big deal for a lot of these people, yeah. Brian, where you can't drive. No. Some of them are disabled and on Medicaid, and in that sense, I, I guess that's a good thing because Medicaid would pay for it. So it doesn't impact everybody okay. who's on seven days a week, but a lot of them. Okay, so you talked to Caldwell, and they have that rainy day fund, which is great, but obviously it's not going to last forever. What about the other factions of Southwestern Idaho? What do they do for these weekends? Yeah, the Boise metro area has a Meals on Wheels program as well. We tried to get in contact with them. We couldn't get any answers today, but we know they are much bigger than Caldwell, mm -hmm. and from our conversation with Julie Warwick, it seems that a lot of their people who were on seven days are reduced to five as well. Okay, and I know we're going to get this request, like what can people do who see this story and want to help out? Is there a way that, I don't know, to make up that difference, whether by bodies or money? Yeah, they do accept donations. All the people going around and doing this are volunteers as well. Uh, Julie Warwick, who we spoke with, she's the only person who's employed. She's the program coordinator. Hmm. Everybody else has volunteered, and there are like three or four uh, vans and trucks out there loading it up themselves and driving in their own vehicles. So there's a lot of volunteer effort in this. All right, thank you very much, Andrew.